loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell down below so you can join my YouTube fam and be notified every time I post a new video. And I am so excited because I will be sharing my first impression slash review and install all about this gorgeous unit that I received from Yolova Hair Company. And you guys, I cannot wait to get into the specs of this wig. And I did try out the ball cap method for the very first time. And I do want to emphasize that I am a beginner. So <laughs> you'll see how I got to this stage. But before we jump into it, if you do find yourself loving this hair or want to try out one of their various styles, Go ahead and use my discount code is key for 15% off of your order. Now, without further ado, let's just hop on into this video, shall we? Alrighty, so let's get into the packaging. Mine's got a little scratched up during the shipping process, but that's okay. Everything inside was protected. I was a fan, though, of their holographic detailing when it came to the box. Now, inside, you get a silk hair protection bag along with some 3D fluffy volume false lashes and a deluxe wig cap that provided two caps inside along with some tweezers. Now let's get into this hair. It was so bouncy, so light, and look at this color, you guys. And look at the definition of these curls. Off the bat, I was so impressed by how natural the hairline looked. The knots were slightly bleached and the hairline was pre-plucked. As you can see, they also included baby hairs around the hairline, which was amazing. It has three combs at the top and one at the bottom, along with adjustable straps, so this wig can be worn glueless as well. Now, I wanted to jump into the tutorial, but I was not a fan of how this hair smelled right out of the box. So I did go ahead and wash this hair. I spritzed a leave-in conditioner and detangled it using a wide tooth comb. I didn't experience any tangles or shedding, and then I let this air dry overnight. Again, I just want to show you how this hairline comes right out of the box. I did not pluck this whatsoever, and look how natural it looks. So it is the next day, and this is how the hair looks. No tangles, super fluffy, and the curls are still very defined. You can see the construction of the lace a lot better here, and as you can see, I'm taking a tinted lace spray in the shade medium brown, and I'll be spraying this all over the lace. As mentioned, this did come slightly bleached, so I did not bleach this at all. Um, and then I'm cutting off the lace at the back as well. Now, it did come with a lace cap, but I decided to use a lace cap that I own that was in a darker shade since I will be trying out the ball cap method. Now, this isn't intended to be a tutorial per se. I just wanted to try the ball cap method for the first time on camera. Um, so, as you can see, I'm taking the Gots to Be Free Spray, putting this on my hairline and then I'm going to blow dry it with cool air. I did this about two times and I was just impressed during the whole process you guys. So after that I'm gonna cut off that additional wig cap that we don't need. Then I'm taking Don't Touch My Hair Crazy Lace Bond. I found this at a local beauty supply store and I'll be applying this on the wig cap and a little bit on my forehead so it seamlessly blends into the skin. Before doing that, I did take rubbing alcohol to make sure my skin is very clean. So I'm going to be just spreading this onto my hair. Um, I learned this trick from YouTube and it just helps to make it just blend seamlessly into your skin. Then I'm taking powdered foundation that matches my skin tone and applying this to my wig cap. You'll see me hyping myself up throughout this video because I think I did pretty darn good with the melting of this cap, especially for this being my first time ever. So now that we have the wig cap and my lovely smelling wig and the lace that is tinted, we're going to apply this bad boy onto my head. And yeah, as you can see, I'm taking these little Velcro stickers that helps to just keep the hair out of your face. And this, I didn't keep on my head the entire time, but it really helped me smooth back the hair just to see 
how I want the lace to lay on my head, how much of the lace I want to cut, making sure it fits the air flap area, just all that jazz. This is the process where you want to comb everything back and make sure you have it perfectly aligned to where you want it to lay. Then I'm using the end of a makeup brush. A lot of people use popsicle sticks, whatever is flat. Then I'm applying the lace glue exactly on the wig cap and a little bit on my skin um, where I want the lace to lay. And you always wanna use cool air and let this dry. Let one layer dry, then keep adding layers. I added two layers because I don't wanna keep this wig on too long and I've had bad experiences in the past with lace glue, so two was enough for me. But it seems like the average number is two to three layers for the wig to stick on for a week or so. As you can see, I had to take some deep breaths. I was so anxious, but it is time to now just lay the lace onto the ball cap and the glue. You want to take like an elastic band. I had this band that did the trick very tight on my head. You wanna let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just don't rush the process. In the meantime, I wanted to make sure that everything was slick back before I cut the lace. So while everything is drying, I'm taking this hair wax stick and just brushing everything back. This helps to get all those flyaways off of your face and just make it really smooth and sleek. Then it was time for me to decide how I wanted to part my hair. I did end up going with a side part, but you can do a middle part. Um, you really have a lot of space since this is a 13 by 4 transparent lace. And then I'm taking a hot comb and just making sure that everything is slicked down. This will really make it not move. And now I'm taking the elastic band off and you guys look how melted this looks. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> so I'm combing everything back and then I'm going to cut the lace. I went back and forth with using a scissors and then a eyebrow razor. You always want to take off, you know, the lace bit by bit, but this is how it ended up turning out. And for the lace that did not adhere completely to my skin, I just went back with my Got To Be Freeze spray and just took a um, rat tail comb and my cool setting on my blow dryer and let that just dry into my skin and that did the trick. Then I'm taking my rubbing alcohol. I think because this was my first time, I just had some excess lace glue. I don't see the professional baddies on YouTube having to struggle with this, but I just removed that excess gel that was stuck on my forehead. And then I'm adding some more additional baby hairs. It did have some baby hairs provided, but I just added a little bit more. Again, I do need to work and practice when it comes to baby hairs. I love the mousse trick. Um, of like laying the baby hairs down so I did try that but as you can see I definitely need some practice I know <laughs> but this is what I got you guys that's how my baby hairs turned out now I wouldn't necessarily recommend combing out the hair when it is dry you want it to be wet and moisturized but I really wanted to see how fluffy this hair can get and I was obsessed with how big and voluptuous it looked I will definitely be playing around with this texture but to get the jerry curl look let's go ahead and spritz it all you really need is water but I did add a curling mousse as well to really intensify the definition of the curls so now that the tutorial aspect of this is complete, I want to dive into all the specs of this wig and all the additional details I didn't quite get into as of yet. This hair is 100% human hair. The texture is a jerry curl wave. And the lace, as you can see, it was 13 by 4 inches, so it gives you a lot of space to play around when it comes to the part. The quality of this hair, as stated on their website, is 7A grade high quality. The density is 180%. The wig that I have on is in 24 inches, which I thought was the perfect length for me. Now this is in the shade Piano Honey Blonde, and to get more specific, the Honey Blonde is number 27 and the brown is number 4, so if you guys know about colors, you have a better idea with those numbers. And the construction of this cap felt like a medium size, it was really comfortable, very snug. Like I mentioned, this could be glueless if you'd like, but I just wanted to do the ball cap method with lace glue. And that is pretty much it as far as the hair specs go. I will make sure to include it in the description box below along with the direct link just in case you are interested. 
Alrighty, so now for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like this hair. I think it complements my skin tone very well. If you know me, you know that I do not experiment with colors, so this was a really fun try for me. I think this Piano Honey Blonde looks really, really good on my darker skin tone. And it's really giving me fall vibes, but a flirty and fun look as well. Um, so I am really here for the texture. From experience so far with this hair, I find that the more it gets dry, the fluffier it gets. If you notice in some of the footage when I was combing this out, this hair does have the potential to get really wild and fluffy, um, which I really like. Um, so I would definitely experiment with that in the future. But it does have that fluffy look naturally, and then if you wet it with just some mousse and water, it will give you this gorgeous curly look. So just keep that in mind. I do think there's room to play around with the texture. As far as the construction of this cap goes, it is so comfortable. Like, it's, it's not too tight, it's not too big, it's just perfect. I will leave all the specs to this hair along with the direct link in the description box below but it feels so comfortable on my head. And as far as tangling and shedding goes, it was very minimal and that was during the styling process. I will say the key to keeping this hair manageable would be to always make sure that it is moisturized and hydrated to have that really healthy look. And lastly, I just really like how beginner friendly this hair is. I did try a new technique for the first time, which was the ball cap method, and I was so anxious on like what I can do to make sure this hair looks very natural and realistic, and I did not have to do much whatsoever. I did not pluck this hair, and I did not bleach it, because I just don't want to. As a beginner, it's just, you know, you don't want to do the most. You don't want to mess up your wig. You don't want to feel stressed out. And I really like how ready this hair was. All I had to do was simply apply it to my head. As far as first impressions go, I do not have any complaints. I do think it's a really nice unit. If you guys do want to try it out, make sure to use my discount code ISKEY for 15% off of your order and save you some coin. That is it. That is all. Stay blessed, and I will see you guys very shortly in my next video.